Hello and welcome to episode 94 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. This is a crucial time in the Premier League season. Liverpool, then Watford, moving into January. Interesting draw in the FA Cup against Mansfield. Then we got West Ham United away in the Premier League. We lost against them in the last episode. So it's another potential banana skin. West Brom, Everton, Wolves to close out January. Oh! Oh my goodness! We've been drawn against Real Madrid in the Champions League. In the space of three weeks, we'll be playing Manchester City, Manchester United, and Real Madrid. I won the group stage as well. We have absolutely been shafted there. AFC Wimbledon against Liverpool. I just can't get over this season. Give me a break. We're playing at night here at Football Lane. Whoa! Big tackle comes in. Tonali might be in trouble. That's got to be a yellow card at least. Maybe a red. He's off within like a minute. He didn't want to be on the same pitch as AFC Wimbledon. And when the red hot, you can understand. Out, Schneg. No. Goal for Liverpool, of course. The 10 men go in front. Shocking Boris Diopovic. I don't know about that clearance. It's more bad clearances from defence. AFC Wimbledon really struggling at that part of the game. Mikel, I can't go move on the way. Oh, boy. Boris can put in the legwork here. Oh, Boris. Is he quick enough? Yes. Boris Diopovic. Keep going, son. What an effort this is. Callum. Oh, over the ball by Callum. Oh, Flannery, are you joking? This game is really testing me right now. Take this free kick short. Uh, towards Schneg apparently and not Dominic Watts. Schneg! Good effort. Here it comes. Too close to the keeper. Punched away. Headed away. That's gonna be half time. How this is 1-0 Liverpool. I will never know. Will never know. I can't figure that one out. We have been all over them. <laughs> Save keeper. Oh man, we need Enzo Bardi to have a big performance in this second half. A conk quote. Yeah, run from Django Swinkles in the middle. Yes! Let's go now, boys. Suddenly we now have a massive advantage. <laughs> go on, Enzo, body lad. Slide in. No, no, you can't be doing that. I'm sorry. There we go. Kellamo Flannery into a conquo. Lovely delivery. 2-2. Two -two. Oh, he's onside. Go on, Kellum. Go on. Redeem yourself, lad. Yes, no! You thought... <laughs> Not the time. Now is not the time to be doing that, Enzo Bardi. Oh man, we need Enzo Bardi to have a big performance in this second half. What an absolute shambles this has been. No, honestly, lads, I don't have any words for that. We've done everything by the book there. It looks like we're now three points ahead of the chasing group. And that handful of fixtures, Leicester City actually beat Manchester City, and that's why they're in fourth. You know what, lads? I don't know what's going on with this season either. It's Watford against AFC Wimbledon. Schneg? Played. Wide. Wide. Finally. Up you go. Find Kellamore Flannery. Get out of my way. <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh my goodness. Kellum. He just fell over. Kellum just fell over. Was there any contact at all? No. He just stopped. Oh, this game's on a mad one. I'm being cheated out of this. Offside, surely. Flag goes up. Wow. Wow. Oh, yes, there you, there you go. Brilliant goal, that, by the Watford forward. But I do feel like things are definitely in place here that should not be in place. Man City, at the moment, are smashing Leeds United. Honestly, this is quite incredible. Yep, played. Yep, back to Obby. Here we go. Obby Jackers, gents. Goal for Obby Jackers. Go on, then, Beckich. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yep, so... We've lost to Watford as well. It's really nice seeing all your hard work uh, just evaporate like that. This final goal is something else. Like, I take this guy off before the start of the game because he's on half stamina. And still, he doesn't lose any balance with the big pressure Dalibor Bekic on him. Puts in a perfect cross, somehow. Next instance, a chest control pass. And then it goes through. 
Philip's on? I've no idea. I've no idea. I don't have words. I guess we got this thing in the FA Cup to try and cheer us up, but they're playing a five-man defence. AFC Wimbledon against Mansfield Town. Edvaldo's apparently slower than Bennett. All right, Lampros Dam was needed there. Fine save. Onside. Yep, don't worry about it. Castelletto just allowed that guy to be onside. So we're now losing to Mansfield. Mansfield Town. We are top of the Premier League and we're losing to Mansfield Town. Do you think? Oh, penalty! It simply wasn't because the goalkeeper was on it. Okay. G Feng fan to the bottom left. And that's us equalizing, thank goodness. Keep up. Come on, Lampros. Quick up. Off your line. Lampros dam. Through ball to Desire Jiggler. It's Meredith Ellis. Get in. Yes, lads. We've squeezed another goal out of Meredith Ellis. 2 1 Wimbledon. Get away. Mmm, that's not away. That's just up. Out! Lalaina Fontaine keeps on going, can kill the game there. It's Lalaina Fontaine with a third for AFC Wimbledon. And I'm telling you something, he might not have had a chance himself, but Desire Jiglot, I think, has got two assists. Well done, all around, pat yourself on the back. We've got a victory here. Hooray. Okay, see you guys in the fourth round of the FA Cup. <laughs> Still in utter shock. Well, it was looking lovely and healthy for AFC Wimbledon. That security has disappeared a little bit. Everybody needs to be on it. I'm going to give a chance to Edvaldo in the first team with Bekic at right back. Come on now. West Ham United against AFC Wimbledon. This can't carry on. We've had it against Southampton. We've had it against these guys. Liverpool and Watford. On your bike, Callum. Oh, Flannery, run! And just set up Okonkwo into the box. Corner kick. Starting off brightly. A Schneeg! Schneeg! Yes! We're AFC Wimbledon, aren't we? And we're going to win this league. No. No! Something is desperately wrong with this game. As this ball swings in, you can see that I'm already locked on with Bekic. But he just doesn't interact with the ball. Oh, and then, let's have a look at this arm. He even hits Bekic right there and somehow still goes through him. I don't understand. What the f... What is that? There we go. 2-1 West Ham United. I guess that thing was a well-worked goal. Not much to be said about that. Obby! Oh, what an effort! Oh, my... Please just give me some, just something, something to hold on to here. Need another miracle from the corner kick. This one's been aimed at Ruben Cook. You know what, he did get his head on it, but there was no solid connection. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this game breaker, man. Solid attack here, a conquo. Come on then, across, there we go. Yes, Obi Jackers, 2-2. Two -two. Step overs, Django's. Should have had that Django, man. You were right there, oh no! There's Django Swinkles, puts in the slide and it goes straight through his legs. Valdo simply wasn't moving. Huh? Another Megs. It's gone through Enzo Bordi. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Lads, help. In what universe is that even possible? Enzo Bordi, no, no, no! We're not at the top of the table anymore. We should be, we really should be, but we're not. It's Wimbledon against West Brom. Here goes the engine, Eric Melville. Getting it into the box for Django Swinkles, 1-0 Wimbledon. Callum or Flannery going the long way. There he is. It's Callum or Flannery. A monster. The speed, yes! Ruben Cook. It's gone through Beckett. Mint. Oh! <laughs> wow! What's going on here then? Doesn't even make an attempt to knock the ball away. Django Swinkles to Obby Jack has finished. 3-1 Wimbledon. Shouldn't even be a contest. I'm tapping R1 desperately and I'm getting no run. <laughs> Just bloody work. I can't be bothered. 3-2. Here goes Eric Melville. Another solid delivery. Di Canio volley from Obby Jack has makes it 4-2. In all this mess, Obby has put in two unbelievable finishes. Puts a bit of slice on it as well to stick it into the side netting. That is a lovely, 
lovely goal. Are we finally seeing a return to normality? No, we're not. We are not. No, 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 no! Oh my goodness! I could make a better football game than this. How many times am I going to have to bring up the instant replay? It goes through Schneg. It goes through Bekic. Wow. Just wow. The game is over. It's a 4-4 draw with West Bromwich Albion. It's been over two hours now. Uh, we've gone through the footage, made an episode somehow out of that shambles. The state. It's got to be up there for one of the most demoralising, pathetic, negative experiences I've ever had in a video game, and I've played a lot of bad games. But at points, that didn't feel like a video game, that felt like a torture device. We are obviously the best team in the league, and before this episode, we were four points clear. Now, if we look at the league table, we're four points behind Manchester City, but with a game in hand. I am truly lost for words, and I'm really sorry if this particular episode of Youth Squad Legends didn't hit the quality commentary that I tried to do every single episode. It was very difficult to get through it without having my jaw on the floor. However, if you did enjoy this episode, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. This has been Cutsy, and I will see you next time. And for goodness sake, future Cutsy, please renew them contracts. I told you once, I'm not going to tell you again, renew them.